There are so many people that try and shame me. All right, look right here. Saying I look like melted yogurt. I'm ugly. There's just no awareness out there as far as lipedema. They're just told that they're fat and ugly and they need to lose weight. I'm just promoting self-love, self-acceptance. Perfect. My name is Jennifer. I'm a plus-size model and I have lipedema. So lipedema is an abnormal buildup of fat. Uh, it's an extra layer of fat, uh, usually on the thighs, the buttocks, sometimes on the arms, sometimes on the stomach. Some doctors will say, if you're just fat, that's it, lose weight. I've lost 150 pounds since 2016, and I still have large thighs that are just bulky and think it's cellulite, but it's not. It's the lipedema fat. And the lipedema fat is not metabolic fat. It's not able to be burned with diet and exercise. It was extremely difficult as a child, you know, not fitting in, going to pool parties, not being able to put on a bathing suit. I just wanted to be normal. My older sister was always thin. My younger sister was thin. And I was just blessed with this. <laughs> so these are the clothes that I would wear, that I used to wear. And this was like my whole wardrobe back at the time. Just plain shirts, just nothing special at all. And then my pants were always black and stretchy. This was my wardrobe. I had gotten married and pregnant with my daughters and was married almost two years and after three children it wasn't going to work and I moved back home. Being a single mom was really hard and I struggled a lot. I had gained over 100 pounds. Something clicked in 2016, enough was enough. And New Year's Day I decided from that point everything I gave to the universe was going to come back. I think I was just tired of being unhappy. Everything I wear now is completely different. So this was the first dress that I bought that was form-fitting. When I got it, I didn't know if it would fit, how it would look, but I was really happy with the look. And I got to dress it up with rhinestones and have fancy shoes, so I was excited about that. I just learned about lipedema in 2017. I started an Instagram page and I started following other women and saw people with my legs. And I felt there's other people like me. I'm not just a freak by myself with my legs huge and every part of my body smaller. It's, it's crazy how once I've learned to accept myself and seen everybody on social media accept me too, it's given me such self-confidence that I feel like I can wear anything and show anything. I'm not afraid to show my legs on Instagram. Uh, I've learned to accept and love them. I posted this picture to really showcase the lipedema and educate, especially men, that there's a reason that women look like this and it's not just because they're overweight. Today, we're going to be doing a lipedema get together. I've gathered a couple women who have lipedema and I think one or two have lymphedema as well. And what we're going to do is just showcase what lipedema looks like in the photo shoot. You ready? Oh, hi. Hey. This is my friend Kara. She's out in LA from Pittsburgh for the week and we are gonna go have fun tonight at the party and do our photo shoot uh, with some other wonderful ladies. Showing off how lipedema is different for everyone. Yep, different shapes, sizes, styles, all that good stuff. Got it? Yep. So much stuff has happened since my bar craft video. I'm so grateful that I did it. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Um, I've had opportunities to do photo shoots all over. I've been interviewed for Inked Magazine about tattooing with lymphedema because I have a giant Muppet thigh tattoo. <laughs> Kara was one of the first people I followed when I started my Instagram page. I would follow her and think, wow, how could she 
post herself like this. Like she would be in shorts and a top or have her compression stockings. And I thought, wow, she's got a lot of strength to be able to you know, show herself that way and be vulnerable like that. So I thought each of us could hold one or two letters. Let's see, how, there's two, four, six. So um, hold one or two letters of the lipedema. Have you done a shoot like this before? No, I haven't. Why do you think it's important to do a shoot like this? Well, it's there's just no awareness out there as far as lymphedema or lipedema, and. There's so many, especially women, that suffer with fat diseases and they're just always shamed and, you know, told that they're fat and ugly and they need to lose weight. There needs to be awareness that people need to just know that, hey, this is just my body and there's it's the way it's going to be. You're good. You're perfect. Per look at you guys. You're perfect. I want your head just a little bit. Okay. Just like that. Look right here. Look right into the lens. Look right here and say, woo! Woo! Got it, all right. All right, look right here. I love it. There are a lot of women within this culture that don't know that they have lip lipidemia. They don't think anything of it. They just assume that it's something that they have to live with and they've lived with all their life. Thank you so much for coming to this. I wasn't me. expecting such a good turnout, but um, we can only grow from here. Bye. Thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. I'm really happy I did this. I had a great turnout of people, and so we were able to really relate to each other, get a lot of information, talk to each other, form some good friendships and bonds, and the photo shoot was so fun. I don't think people should have to hide behind their clothes. You know, inside those people, they want to be able to dress like everybody else. We're only given one life, and it's our own life. So it's important to have fun and live what you want. And I was tired of being sad. And I know a lot of other people are too.